Hey guys, welcome to Eat By The Travel. This is Jenny and Kevin. We have just arrived to Querétaro from Dolores Hidalgo. We're gonna spend the next few weeks here to explore this city as a potential home. And to be honest with you, we don't know anything about Querétaro. We've so, only heard really good things from other people and everyone has told us you're gonna love this city. So that's why we're here. So you, if you have any recommendations for us as to what to eat, where to eat, what to visit, or what you want to know about Querétaro, make sure to leave in the comments down below because we look forward to spending an entire month here and figuring out those questions for y'all. We're gonna start this vlog and our visit in Querétaro by taking an hour walk from our Airbnb all the way to Centro. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready, let's do this. Let's go. We got a private room with a shared kitchen on the east side of the city, about five kilometers from Centro, for $16 a night. And after all those micheladas in San Luis Potosí, we definitely put on a little weight, so this walk was highly necessary. And it's a great way to get to know our new home for the month. At first impression, we're happy to see great infrastructure for pedestrians and cyclists. Bike rentals. It costs five pesos per 30 minute ride. These are gonna be my new favorite thing. Nice shopping mall. Feels like I'm back in the US with all these stores. Finally made it. 45 minutes of walking. First time I ever heard about Al La Alameda was in Orizaba. Or the concept of an Alameda, right? Yeah, like I never, never knew what it was, never. I just thought it was special to Orizaba and it's really cool. There's so many cities have their own Alameda. Alameda. Oh, of course. Should have recognized him with the banner. The Alameda is the south point of the centro, the Querétaro. So we're gonna enter south on the south. So we're gonna enter on the south end, and we're finally in the centro, so we'll be able to check it out really nice. Yay. This walking made us hungry, so let's head over to a mercado for lunch. Making choices is hard when you're hungry, so we sat with the first puesto that looked good and wasn't too busy. I ordered a taco with chickpeas, and Kevin ordered a quesadilla with huitlacoche.
After a taco, we walked around in search of the best place to eat now that we weren't so hungry. Then we noticed this place that must be packed for a good reason. When you come eat at Mercado Josefa Dominguez de la Cruz, you want to make sure you check out uh, Antojitos de los Guisos Meche, local number 358. They were recently featured on TV on the Mexican Independence Day and they're really excited about it. And I can see why. Their food was amazing and the tortillas are made of black corn masa and they make all everything themselves, even the masa. It's green. The tortilla is so good. This one is the copete, which is pork breast. Sounds good. The best one. It's the the salsa in there, right? The way it's made. The best one. great time just walking. Already we can tell there's something special about Querétaro. The architecture, the parks, the people, the cleanliness. Only a few hours in and it was already growing on me. Cheers. Agua de chocolate con pinola. Con pinola. Es maíz. Es, ma es maíz molido. Mmm. So refreshing. ¿Y el tuyo qué es? Casi, casi cacao entero. Y lo pedí a la mexicana con leche. Si lo pides a la oaxaqueña es con base de pura agua. It's so refreshing right now. We've walked so much. <laughs> Oh, this feels so, so good right now. Especially in my nose, I think I'm burned. And my little shot of espresso too. This is espresso de chocolate. Mm. Stay tuned for the food vlog because we'll definitely be coming back to this place. They have a whole day, but we're lucky that they actually have a social today, so let's go dance.
hit 21,889 steps. What a day, what a day. But it's been so much fun to get to explore Querétaro. Uh, my first impressions of Querétaro is that uh, it's very big, bigger than I thought it was. And uh, I really look forward to having the opportunity to catch some NFL games. The NFL season <laughs> just started and I saw bars that offer NFL games. And since I won't be able to watch my Bears with the family, then might as well have some fun with some uh, foreigners out here in Querétaro. Yep, so if you're watching this video and you're currently in Querétaro, hit us up. We look forward to making friends here too. Um, and we look forward to all your recommendations. So let us know what things we should check out and what you want to know about this city. And I think that's about it for today. What? I wanted to point something out. Oh. Have you tried a nun fart? I haven't tried the nun fart. Why would I try some nun farts? <laughs> I've seen them. Alright, we'll check them out. Alright, se cuidan, se vayan y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Ciao. Ciao.